for the first time ever, I'm going to pray to her. No, not first time. Actually, not first time. But you know, so as the situation will be, and as Lord will have it, as Allah will have it. Anyway, sir, um, Samadhi come. And today is 17th of Ramadan. Yeah. 17th of Ramadan and I am going to since a while it's been a while that I actually will go to Tarawi or pay pray Tarawi in Jama for the first time in New Year actually. Yeah, yeah. For the first time since like because the last Ramadan I didn't go to Tarawi. If I'm with my family, of course I will of course, I will pray to her with my family while I go to the mosque. But, yeah. So, for the first time, since a very long time, actually, I'm going to go pray to her away. And I'm going to pray to her away in Masjid. You know, what is so interesting is, like, in Nigeria, like, in Nigeria, going to Tarawi is a, is a, must i mean if you're not going to go like if you're not praying then you shall will go for i don't know people that will still bring food or you know all those kind of um fun things that you can do with your family you know? some people just go for sleep and like I've, i'm used to going to tarawi prayer like in mosque like really so we want to do tarawi go to mosque like i'm used to it but honestly since we since I've been in Canada, I have not I have not prayed Tarawi in Masjid. I've been to Masjid for um prayer, like um you know the obligatory prayer. I've been to Masjid for that. I've been to Masjid for um Jumat prayer, but not Tarawi. So for the first time since I've been in Canada, imagine for the first time since I've been in Canada, I'm going to pray Tarawi in Masjid. And I'm going to with my friends. So, again, I'm getting picked up. I mean, like, it's so nice when you have people around. So, yeah, I'm going with my friend. And, yeah, I mean, if I have a car, I will ride there. But since I don't, then my friend is coming to pick me. So, I'm so glad that I'm going to there. Like, you have no idea. My first time since... Like I feel, I feel embarrassed to even say this. I feel really, I feel embarrassed. And you know, I've always wanted to, but you know, either that I don't have someone to take me there, or it ju it's just going to be only me. And then you have to do busing. When you have to do the busing, the busing kind of don't work. You know, by the time you get there and coming back to. So I usually don't say I'm talking, but today, for the first time ever since I've been so I've been in and since I've been living in Canada, I'm going to go to Tarawi prayer and pray Tarawi prayer in the mosque. And I'm also breaking uh, my fast. So if Char is, I think if, if Char is at eight fifteen, so I'm going to go there and break my fast, pray my grave, and pray Tarawi. So which is really beautiful. Did I say salam alaikum? Anyway, if I didn't say that salam alaikum, salam alaikum now. I hope your Ramadan is going, I hope the fasting is going, you know. Oh my goodness, oh, can you imagine? It's only like 13 days left. It's just so sad that Ramadan is ending soon. But you know what? Even though Ramadan is ending, but it doesn't have to end, it's, if it doesn't have to end in your like for you like individual you can always like pray um sorry you can always like continue the tradition of fasting mondays and thursdays fasting and also um what else another day so special day so like i mean for me anyway and that hasn't changed for me because you know after i'm done i'm still going to be paying all those um, fasting that i didn't um i didn't get to do during the ramadan you know as a as a lady you shall get the perks and then you have to anyway shall. but um yeah so that's what's happening so that's definitely what's gonna happen for week three of ramadan is it week three here yeah. i'm gonna week three of ramadan i am excited like you have no idea i am actually very excited I'm gonna break fast gonna have good food 
gonna eat delicious food because you know what during my damn people turn off people turn off during my dad like those cooking like ah oh, oh, this is very beautiful <laughs> like hungry people like myself but anyway this is what i'm wearing to the masjid i'm going to throw my coat over it too because i think it's still going to be a little bit um cold i don't know maybe or maybe not but yeah dun 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 Yeah, before the Ramadan started, I actually had the impression that I'm going to go to Pritara, um, Tarawi, Lailatul Qadri, and all that. And if not of my car, then. But Allah's willing. And. Yeah. But I'm glad that I'm either that I prayed all of them or just one. It's still going to be a wholesome, beautiful experience. And I can always have my Tara. No, no. I can always have my Lila to Kodri prayers like the last 10 days inside my house or inside my room and that's the beauty of it all. Yeah, look at my face shining like this is the power of Ori. If you don't know what Ori is, this is the power of Shea Butter. Oh, shea butter. I've been using shea butter like really consistently. I mean, like it does beauty to you. I mean, it moisturizes. I use it, I use it for my hair too, because like it moisturizes. That's mainly what it does. And I read that it doesn't actually gross your hair. I was trying to grow my hair, but they say it doesn't grow your hair, but it moisturizes, which is also good. If you can moisturize your hair, it adds to the health of the hair and will eventually will grow out. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for, that it grows. That's what I'm hoping for, that it grows. So, you know the beauty of having afro hair, my kind of texture, any kind of afro hair? is you know where you have to like get the pom-poms or what do you call it volumina voluminizer for your hijab like naturally like naturally the afro just gives the volume to your hair so you don't need like volumizer well that's except if you relax your hair because if you relax your hair it loses that texture and but and then if you want to get that volume volume that I'm talking about, you have to grow your hair. Because <laughs> it's not going to do with short afro. Like, that's not going to work. So you have to grow your hair. I mean, like, my hair is in braids now, so it's beautiful. But anyway, Sha, I'm going to catch you later. I might or might not show you the iftar. Maybe if I get a pic some pictures or quick video right now. Maybe some video of the tar we do. We see how it goes, but honestly, Alhamdulillah, I'm so glad for the first time ever. For the first time ever, imagine like I feel embarrassed. Like it's not that I don't pray tarawih. Like um, in my home, like I pray tarawih with my family. We just don't go to mosque. Either the mosque is too far away, or you know, long story short. Or all those kind of things, but many wish it's gonna be beautiful. I'm glad. Alhamdulillah. It's the sunset today. That's nice. Look at all this. Me, I'm trying to get rid of my dark spot. Trying to get rid of dark spots is another story. Like you have no idea how many products have you used and they do not work. I've used to do some this shea butter, coconut oil. I'm I use the black sports corrector because I hear that it's really good. Mm. 
and I get tired, you know. I actually used the dark spots. I actually used the dark spots corrector for a while, but I didn't see any results, so I stopped. I kind of stopped using it. And now I want to like. Oh, anyway, sure. Anyway. This story for another time. The notion is to complete, uh, to continue like crocheting it until like you have to feel this side. You have to feel it. Like there shouldn't be any of this left. Oh, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. Here is it. Here is it. I could, I could literally, here is it. I could literally bring this. So it looks like I filled everything here. So it looks like I'm, I mean, if I'm doing some other styles like that, I could, if I'm doing some other styles like that, I could literally say that I'm done the first, the first spiral. Really. But I actually wanted to feel it so much that you, you see it, um, because that's how you get it to flatten it. So it doesn't curve so soon. If you do it like this, like you don't if you don't feel it, the if, if you don't feel it and you let it loose like this, it might start curving up. Like very soon it will start curving up. But if you feel it so 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 much, it will turn out like the folds with the first first cap. It will turn out like that. I don't know, like, like that folds like that um um that pleats that it shows at the with the first um cap you want to feel it you want to make sure that you feel this like it's very very full it's not like in not like this you want to make sure that it is very 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 full like very deep so you can see the waviness you have some waves like this one is literally just flat enough and if i continue like this it might start curving up like very very soon and that's not what i want i want to start curving it about 20 to i don't know 25 spirals so i'm going to fill this thing you see the waves this is the waves that you want. You don't want it to be like really just straight. You want this wave. Okay, so this waves, the wave is what you want. You don't want it to be like really straight and flatten up. You want it the waves. The waves make it um it gives you room to for it to spread and like stay flat, not curved. So this is the waves that you want. This is the actual waves that you want. You, cause it, this wave makes it um give it room, like at the top, to flatten up, and not start curving up just as soon as you begin. So this is the wave that you want. Like I could continue with my second spiral up here, but if I pull it again, if I like push it further again, see I have more room. So I can even add more um, stitches or more, yeah, I can even have more, add more stitches here. Like with this one here, I can even add more stitches. Or I can leave it like that and continue on. Yeah, either way. But I think I, I want to add more. Just so that I have, it's not, it doesn't curve up too soon. 
that took me a while to get that this is how you actually make caps you want to make the sweeps at the beginning because even when i when i start when i started making this kind of caps and then every time i do it like i'll be on the second third um circle and it's already like curving up and i'm like how do people do this thing but with trials and error i later understand that if i made it more wavy at the this is very important the very beginning if i made it more clustered and more wavy at the beginning it gives it room on top and it will just spread out and it won't curve down i hope my explanation is thorough enough so you understand what i'm saying because most of the time when it starts curving up like at the second third um fourth fifth line you have to open it because that's not what you want you want it to spread so i think i have enough i can see how clustered it is and it's actually very very wavy this is what i want this is exactly what you want and then i'm going to go to the next circle then it's coming it is coming so this is it. this is what you want there is another way to do it without this all the splits. Wow, start for another day, Sha. So it's different, it's different from the last one we did. Okay, so see the style? This is the new style. <laughs> I'm gonna like enter going to enter whatever it is. But I'll do blue, white, blue, white, and then as I'll just finish the rest with this blue. So this is what the back looks like. And this is what the front part looks like. So it's coming. I know it looks rough at the back, but it's actually really, really pretty. If I do like this banana design, it looks very, very pretty. And this is it at the front. So this is what I was talking about before. Like if you're making it, um, if you're making it this kind of cap, and it's starting to curve up like this, that's not good. Because then by the time you get to a few more spirals, then it's like totally, and you really want to flatten out. This, it looks, it's looking like, um, it's curved, it's curving in, but it's actually not curved in. It's actually quite stretchy. And if it's going to do that, it's very redeemable. It's very redeemable like this. Why do I feel like my face is going in? Like, why do I feel like my face is, no, no not my face, <laughs> my face is going in, what the hell? Why do I feel like my eyes is going, like, it's going, it's going in, like, as if hunger has striked me, like, yeah, like, please realize, as if hunger has struck me. Like, I know it's Ramadan, and I always get the effects of Ramadan, either I get most tiny, or... I don't know, but I was thinking that I would get chubby, like a lot of people more chubby. Yeah, like I kind of feel like me. But maybe it's just me, I don't know. I think it's just me. <laughs> okay, so, so how do you go? I think it's either 18 or 19 of a record. Oh, oh my goodness. And it's um just about... Yeah, it's an hour to sunset to breakfast and look I was so tired and I've kept I kept falling asleep every every hour and I was like mm, let me stroll around and like re-energize and yeah so that's what's going on today just strolling around and So far, the Ramadan has been quite productive. Like I finished the first um, crochet cap that I'm doing, and then I started a new one, um, a new one. 
which I'm actually going to give to my niece. Yeah, my niece is only the second one, and maybe hopefully I'll do one more and I'll give it to my other niece. And yeah, and by my other niece, I mean my baby niece. They're both baby anyway. They're both literally babies. But yeah, I'm at, I'm at that period of my oh sorry, I'm at that period of my life that anything these kids want, they get. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know some people be like some people are uh, give the vibes of like rich and this vibe. You know, you just show up once in a while and you shower everyone with I don't know luxury items and you disappear again. I feel like that's me. But I, I try to be diligent, you know. A uh, lot of um, talking on the phone, some FaceTime. That's nice. It is quite windy, although it wasn't. I mean, I searched, um, I checked the weather before I left. Yeah, I checked the weather before I left, and it wasn't supposed to. I didn't read the windy there. It's quite windy. But uh, I think the windy depends on where you are. Because right facing the geography that I'm facing, but anyways, the way that I'm coming from, I just turned the corner, that place was quite windy. I think it's the direction actually, and possibly maybe because there are trees over there. I don't think so. There aren't so many barriers over there, and I think it's also the... Um, the um, direction, the sunset, but like, like that's just beautiful, isn't it? Just me strolling. So this is just me strolling around and like, yeah, trying to re-energize myself. Like, God, I need to be more active. Like, really, I be like, I'll go, I'll go to the gym, I'll get gym membership, and mm -mm, I didn't end up doing it. Mm -mm. And then, and then, like today, it was just so, it was just so bad, and I, uh, I was feeling so drained. Like my energy is depleted. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? We are gonna take a walk, and that is what's happening. Like, which is nice. It's better. It's better than like seriously not doing anything or just like sitting and like falling asleep every hour. It's so weird. I don't know, is the Ramadan like I don't think it's Ramadan that's doing it. I think it's just So I try to do my uh, scarf in a specific way. So it like covers everything but it keeps like um, coming off, like just trying to go its own way. The plight of being an HIV. And you know what? I was living, I was like, you know what? Let me just look good as I'm doing this trolling. So I made like a little bit of makeup. See that eyeliner? See that eyeliner? Like every way I turned, the, um, the lights on uh, Every... Oof. Yeah, so basically the lightning change changes everywhere I turn. Sometimes the lightning is good and it brightens up your face and then sometimes it's not so good. But it's well. It's all well. Okay, so as I oh, yeah, I remember what I want to say. Um so I am going to be having okay so last Ramadan I started this um this platform with my friends and with my friends from Nigeria from back home I mean like um last Ramadan I mean it started last Ramadan and last Ramadan was our season one there's been quite um significant changes here and there but you're gonna find out you're gonna find out so uh, so yeah, we started last Ramadan, which is the season one. We call it the Converse, and yeah, so we had like four episodes. Yeah, we had four episodes um, last Ramadan. So this Ramadan, we're going to have a new uh, season two. 
yeah we're going to have our season two this ramadan and a lot more people will come inshallah hopefully i pray that we're able to make it it's gonna be fun i definitely look forward to it definitely and um, and i really do want to continue like um hopefully it's something that grows to something something in the future i don't know but yeah we're going to have another ramadan discussions just me like on significant important topics and um yeah important topics and what else so continue on to 47th avenue so it's going to it's just going to be just me and my friends and a few other people um i guess uh, catching up on hold on life but mainly it's about the discussions but i'm pretty sure i want to like see what's going on in everyone's life what's happening and all, and all that kind of thing so i'm very looking forward to it so yeah i'm looking forward to it and i really do hope that you enjoy it look look back to my stroll me then trying to stroll let me let me show you what the floor looks like now look at the floor that i'm look at this oh wow turn right yes okay it's not too muddy so i guess that's good but how am i going to cross this place though because i feel like this place is more muddy ah look at that okay i'm gonna go this way oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh my god it's a good thing there's this snow so i can like rub my feet on and wash my sh you don't even you don't even want to see what shoes that i decided to like leave my house with like i'm just like one cannot even like walk in peace anymore what is this Oh my god oh that was terrible it literally fell into one of the mud there oh, this is not good why now <laughs> hey look at this so oh, this is not good just some people cannot take a gentle stroll around their neighborhood anymore what is the meaning of this eh? look at this poodle now i have to find a way to make it across ah okay let me go this way <sighs> let me go this way oh my god okay now we can make it back into the trail the path here ah <laughs> i just keep falling into the into the snow okay better it's not winter now so it's better i mean like the weather outside is amazing we're still going to take a couple of more um sun to to melt all the snow on the ground yeah it's gonna take a couple of more some sun sunny days to melt oh that's ouch did I fall into the water? No, I didn't. But wow. Last time I was going home from work. And then I was just like... I was trying to go into the Tim Hortons um, place. To... Yeah, I was trying to get into the Tim Hortons place. And there was like this huge puddle of water. So... And then there was like this ice near it. So I was like, you know, I wanted to take the shortcut. So I decided to test. Yeah, I decided to test if the. So yeah, let me show you what I'm looking at. A path that I can, you can see that is 
pretty pretty muddy all the way down there and then well, i can take this trail on the snow here